The Travel Show, sponsored by Turkish Airlines. Hello, this is Impact. I'm Lucrasa Burak. Coming up, a deal. At last, the EU agrees to cut oil imports from Russia by almost 90% by the end of the year. We are the most important client for Russia. They will have to look for another one and certainly they will have to decrease the price. Ukraine says it's still not enough. We'll be speaking to a German MEP about whether the deal will really weaken President Putin. Remembering the victims of the Texas shooting as their parents express anger at the police response. They're outside the room and just hearing gunshots, kids screaming, go in there, save those kids. One week after the school shooting in Texas, Sir Andy Murray, who survived the Dunblane massacre as a child, calls for changes to America's gun laws. Surely at some stage you do something different, like you can't keep approaching, you know, the, the problem, you know, by buying more guns and having more guns in the country. And Elizabeth, the fashion icon, we take a look back at how the Queen's style has changed throughout her 70 year reign. That's all coming up right here on Impact. Hello and welcome to BBC World News. After weeks of discussions, EU leaders have agreed on an immediate partial embargo of Russian oil imports. The plan is expected to affect up to 90% of Russian oil imports by the end of the year. Now, it's seen as the most significant set of sanctions hitting at Russia in response to its invasion of Ukraine. But the EU's agreement includes exemptions for Hungary, which depends on Russian supplies and had been holding up negotiations. Balash Vighegi is a member of the European Parliament from Hungary's ruling Fidesz party and says that his country is simply putting its own interests first. Well, obviously, when we look at uh, this war,